Hi friends, it's Unicorn, and today I want to bring you a Sunday review of Taste by Stanley Tucci. I read this book twice last year, first by myself, and then I listened to the audiobooks together with my partner on a road trip. This is a very lovely foodie memoir, mostly about Italian food, but weirdly brought me all the nostalgia feeling of the food in my hometown. I firstly know Tucci from the movie The Devil Wears Prada, and it's so interesting because it's the second time I mentioned that movie on my channel in a week. And he played a person who works in fashion, so food is always restricted to them. And later on, I watched the movie Julie and Julia, which quickly became my favorite movie of all time and the most comforting one. I watched it for like a million times. And in that movie, he played the husband of the wonderful Julia Child. Julia Child taught Americans how to cook. So in my mind, Tucci is always this smart, interesting guy who's somewhat associated with food, but I didn't know that he personally loved food so much to a point that it's part of his identity. But if you are going into this book expecting some interesting Hollywood story related to food, you'll be very disappointed because this memoir is very focused on its topic, covers story of food in every stage of his life, including but not only his acting years. And in fact, he often jokes about acting, which I find is funny. Tucci grew up in this Italian-American family where they took food very seriously. His mom makes every meal from scratch with fresh ingredients. And even when in the times the resources can be a little bit tight, his family can always think of ideas to make delicious and nutritious food for all the members. I wish the movie the French Dispatch before reading this book, where there's a French family who takes their personal chef everywhere. No matter what situation they're in, if it's meal time, they'll just gather together at whatever places they're at and having a full meal. Although Tucci is from an Italian-American family, when he was talking about how he dined with his parents when he was a kid, I keep thinking about the movie and imagine that's how the Tucci family will eat all the time. In such a family, Tucci watched his parents cook enjoyed Italian cuisine, and learned all kind of history of each of his family's recipe. And more importantly, he learned how to appreciate fresh ingredients in good food. His love for fresh ingredients, it's so genuine and it's everywhere in the book. And that's how you know he's a true food lover and that's why one of the reasons why I love this book. I especially like the part when he's talking about how his grandparents brought all the recipes overseas from Italy and how they preserved not only the recipes but also the lifestyles from their hometown in the US. For example, they raise animals by themselves, they fix everything if it's not completely totaled, and he explained the reasons behind each of the activities. It's so interesting to read about because it's like a piece of world history showing from individual families. When it comes to his acting years, his memories is more associated with the restaurants that he loves and also the dishes that impressed him. He gives you a little bit of history of each places he's been to, and mostly they are related to his acting career. Sometimes he gives you a little bit information of how and why some kind of cuisine was created and continued. I enjoyed to read about those because I think he's a very natural and good storyteller. This this will be more obvious if you choose to listen to the audiobook as he narrated the audiobook himself. So when it comes to conversations, you'll know exactly how the people in the conversation reacted or talked. And through those stories, you can also see the development of the cities that he stayed. And by the nature of restaurant industry, a lot of the places he loved has run out of business during the years. And you can feel how sad he was because he also see that as part of loss of food culture. As I said before, this book doesn't talk a lot about acting business. Well, it's true, he didn't write about Hollywood conversations or juicy stories, but he did talk about the food he took on side. And I found this part very interesting because I had no idea how actors Eat. He also wrote about the food he got on site when they were filming overseas and more or less compared the food on site with the food culture of the country that they were at. Sometimes they're aligned, the food culture and the food on site, but sometimes they can be so different and it's hilarious to read about. I like how open-minded he is when it comes to food from other countries, especially with different ingredients. He fully understands or even reflected on the fact that some exotic ingredients in 
some country can be very common or even a tradition in some other countries. I heard a saying that you can see how open-minded a person is just from their dinner menu. And I think that's very true. I can't tell you how many times I see people, even chefs, introducing ingredients to people that I love dearly but are not commonly used in the West with a very slightly underlying judgmental tone. And honestly, that drives me nuts. I'm so glad that I didn't get that feeling from Tucci's book. In his account of different ingredients from different country, you can see that he has this authentic curiosity and always willing to try and learn. He's not only interested in knowing about the ingredients, but also wanted to learn the history and the culture behind them. And most importantly, he wants to learn how to prepare them in the local way, which I really appreciate. But still, sometimes I feel like the food he tries is very European focused. So I'm dying to see his thoughts and um, feelings about food from other continents. But I also think is probably because the locations of his work. The thing that I loved the most in the book is that it shows how food and food culture is delivered generation by generation. Like I said, the book started with his family stories, and over time you can see him adapting his family recipes to cook for himself, to cook for people around him, and eventually his children. He's so earnest about the food he's preparing, especially when it comes to traditional Italian recipes. And I'm also very envious about that, because in my opinion, food can hold so many memories, and family recipes reflect family values. From his writing, you can tell how much he cherishes his family recipes, and also the sentimental value behind each meal. As a person who moved far away from my parents, I can tell how treasured it is. So I got very jealous when I was reading about that, especially I came from a place where the food culture is so profound, but I cannot create a lot of the dishes that my parents made when I grew up. Here I'm not even talking about the rich and broad food culture in China, I'm talking about my hometown, a regular province in the north central China, where there's so many dishes that I grew up with and I loved, but I just cannot make them because I only learned cooking after I started to live alone. So needless to say that I got very emotional when I was reading the part, especially when I was reading about how he prepared food for the next generation. Not necessarily because of the content, because his writing is actually very funny and interesting. Just it brought me this nostalgia feeling for my family and the lost recipes, especially now that I didn't go back for like more than two years. But I also love the book for that because food is never simply food. Of course, it's the taste of the food that make people appreciate them in the first place, but it's also so much more about the people and places you associated with those food with, and also about the memories that you created. That's why I think people love to read about foodie memoirs. The last part of the memoir, he talked about two very specific times in his life with food. One of them is COVID. As a memoir that published during the pandemic, it will be unnatural to not talk about COVID. Reading about him and his wife trying to managing a huge family during the pandemic and trying to fulfill every people's needs for their stomach is very interesting and I can feel the struggle they were dealing with. He writes daily situations very interesting, although it's all about a place or a time where people are all stressed out, it's still very enjoyable and funny to read about. The other part is largely dealing with his relationship with food or taste more specifically. I don't want to say more about it because I think if you didn't know a lot about him, it's better to discover that from his own writing like what I did. But I want to say that that part is very powerful and I think he's expressed it very well. One critique I have for this book, well, I guess I have two critiques, but I already mentioned the first one is I, I want to see him trying food from other continents. But the other thing is I really wish there were like pictures about the food he's talking about in this book. I love how he includes some of the actual recipes for the important meals he mentioned in the book, but there's no pictures of them and I want to make some in the future maybe, so pictures will be very helpful. Although I understand it's not a cookbook, so maybe in the future I'll just get my hands on one of his cookbooks. I think he published at least two before. I did find some YouTube videos of him cooking in like random different channels of some of the meals in the book. I watched all of them and of course I love them because I just 
really like Stanley Tucci. So maybe in the future, I'll cook some recipes from this book. And we cannot not talk about the documentary series Tucci made called Searching for Italy before we close off this review. This Emmy Award winning documentary explores Italian cuisine's culture and history. I watched the show after I read this book and I recognized some bits and pieces that in the show that made into this book. I especially like how the documentary focused on one city per episode shows you the culture difference between different Italian cities. Because I feel like as non-locals, we tend to think of a country's culture as a whole, but they can be so different within themselves. And the pacing of the documentary is also very good, so I highly recommend if you like the book or you just like Italian cuisine. And that's my review of Taste by Stanley Tucci. I think it's a very delightful read and it will make you happy, and also a change of taste in my channel. I hope you enjoyed this video and please let me know in the comment section down below of your thoughts on the book or do you have any recommendations for foodie memoirs or foodie books in general. Thumbs up to this video if you liked it. I wish you a happy reading, stay healthy. I'll see you in my next bookish video. Bye!